What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. If I go ahead and push play, we're going to be adding this super cool kind of like a split screen wave transition along with the mask. So let's jump right into it. First things first, what you want to do is have your clips in the timeline. I want to make this our second shot. So this is going to be our second clip. And this is gonna be our first clip. So I'm gonna drag the second clip that I wanna transition onto on top of the first clip. So hold Option and drag upwards to duplicate the same clip. To disable the bottom clip for now, just press V on the keyboard. Select the top clip, just go over to the effects, and we're gonna go down to the masks and king. And we're gonna go down to the luma here. The reason we're gonna add a luma here is because there's enough contrast between light and dark in this shot. So if you if your shot looks very similar to this, where your subject clearly stands out from the background, this will be very very simple to do. We're gonna go over and add a luma here directly onto our clip. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to invert the mask. So we're gonna drag the shadows inwards, and we're gonna drag about halfway, and then we're gonna drag the highlights in to the left so it hides all of that it should look something like this enough to get rid of the white background but not so much that we start to remove our subject so somewhere around here is fine and then you can bring back some of the shadows like that so once we have our masked out clip with the bottom clip we're just going to disable that half of the clip we're going to do a liquid effect so what we're going to do first is go over to the effects and we're going to go to the draw mask so add a draw mask onto that clip first Go about 50% or so, maybe less so you can see the full frame. And then hold shift, click once and hold shift to make a straight line. And that looks good there. Once you have that selected, what you're going to do is select the draw mask. And then you're going to right click on that clip and go to new compounds clip. I'm just going to name this bottom one for now. And we're going to go to the effects and go back and under the distortion, we're going to go to the underwater effect. So add the underwater effect to that bottom clip. So now it's going to look something like this. We're going to decrease the size of this a little bit so we can kind of see a little bit more art effects like that and then we're going to change the refraction we can increase it or decrease it however you want this effect to look let's hold option and duplicate this same exact clip right above so now we're going to disable that bottom clip and this is going to be our, our new clip so with the new clip that we just duplicated you're going to hold shift option g to pretty much ungroup everything because if we make changes to this one without ungrouping it it's also going to change the bottom clip so make sure you hold shift option g and this will uh, remove the grouped clip and then we're going to just do the opposite so go and zoom out of the timeline to 25 and we're going to drag this red in between this like these two control points just click and drag and move this up just like that so now it's the top part and not the bottom so with that what we're going to do is just do the same exact thing we're going to make this a grouped clip so right click go to new compounds clip i'm going to name this top one and press enter so now we have the top selection masked out. So we're just gonna do the same exact thing. You could, of course, just press Command C on this bottom clip to copy the effects, select the top clip, and press Shift Option V all together to paste the attributes. In other words, we're pasting the effects that we just copied from. And make sure only the underwater effects is applied and click Paste. So now it's gonna have the same exact settings that we applied to the other one. Now, if we have both of those enabled, it should look something like this. There, should be, there shouldn't be any gaps or anything like that. So if I push Play, this is what we have so far. And then with the mask clip, it'll look like this. So with the top clip selected, go to the transform over here. And we're going to add a keyframe. But before we do that, go over to the transform over here under the inspector tab. Go to the position and drag the Y out of the frame. So just click and drag it until you can't see any of the uh, effects. Then add a keyframe at the beginning of that clip and play it through to see how long you want this to last, um, maybe about halfway or so. You could always adjust it afterwards. So once you're happy with the location in the timeline, go to the Y axis and type in zero. So it goes back to the original place and click done, play it back. I think that's a little slow, so I'm gonna right click on that video, go to show video animation and click and drag this keyframe inwards to make it go a little bit faster. So. I think right there is fine actually. We're gonna do the same thing for the bottom clip. So go to the beginning, go over to transform. And again, same thing, instead of dragging it upwards, we're gonna drag it downwards because it's gonna come from the bottom. From there, we're going to add a keyframe, go to the beginning to where it stops, which is about, stops about here actually. So we're gonna type in zero under Y. Perfect, so now if I go back and push play, 
they should both come in at the same time. So now once we're happy with that, we're going to select the top clip and go over to the effects, go to the blur and add a directional blur on top of it. And we're going to just bring this down to, I mean, it's not going in too fast, so we don't want to make it too like super extreme like that. But I think this is fine. It's going to come in quick anyways. And then add another one to the bottom one and then just change the direction to upwards because it's coming from the bottom. It'll look a lot smoother. And the last thing we need to do is, well, almost the last thing we need to do is have our masked clip with the Luma here. We're going to have that come in from the left side to the right side. So to do that, just move the playhead to the beginning, go to transform. And again, on this frame, we're going to go to the X and just drag this to the left. So it's out of the frame completely. And then we're going to add a keyframe. So just add that there. And I want this to come in and stop about here again where it kind of stops. So there I'm going to type in zero under X and press enter. That's all I got to do. So now if I go back and push play, it's going to come in like that. It's a little slow because it needs to render, but it'll look like that. And lastly, we do need to add a blur to this. So go to the effects, go to blur and add a directional blur onto that one. So that looks a lot smoother. So where it stops, we're going to go three frames to the left. So one, two, three. On the third frame, we're going to add a keyframe next to amount under directional. And then when it stops, we're going to type in zero, or you can bring the slider to the left all the way to zero. The reason we're doing that is so it's not blurry throughout the whole entire clip. So now if we go back and push play, it's going to look just like this. So now when it stops on this frame right here, but we're going to hide the bottom uh, clip so that it shows underneath like this. And then we're going to split this clip, the one with the gear, just press command B to split the clip. And on this clip, on the new one, just disable the effects. So now if I were to render this out completely, it'll look like this. Pretty cool, I think. And there's no presets or plugins at all required.